Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna be exploring something called Windows Power Toys. Power Toys are a set of free system utilities that are designed to help enhance productivity, and they are designed and created by Microsoft. Now, this free software bundle is actually a legacy feature that was available on Windows 95 and Windows XP. And they officially made their return for Windows 10, and they are available for Windows 10 now, as well as Windows 11. Before we jump into today's video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Microsoft Office or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're going to start on the download page for Microsoft Power Toys. This is available via a GitHub link, and GitHub is now officially owned by Microsoft. So this is the official link to download this software. Here we can see we have the installer hashes. In my case, I'm going to go with the X64 since I have a 64-bit system. They also have ARM architecture available. So just depending on your processor, you can grab the appropriate link. I'm going to get this first one here. Wait for that exe to download and we'll be right back. All right, so with the download successful, I'll go ahead and click open file from Microsoft Edge directly. Let's go ahead and minimize this so you guys can see what we're doing. All right, so we have to agree to the license terms and conditions and then hit install. All right, installation has been completed successfully. We'll hit close on that. And we can see within Power Toys, here are our sets of different tools that we can have access to. So we'll go ahead and run through a few of these to show you guys kind of how it works and you can start getting familiar on your own. All right, now the first power toy that we're gonna explore is the Windows Shortcut Guide. This is a guide that's gonna help us get familiar with the Windows shortcuts that will help us navigate the operating system fast and effectively. Now for the shortcut guide, my activation by default is Windows Shift Slash. If you're on Windows 10, I believe it's Windows key just by itself and you hold that down for about one second. So we'll go ahead and hit these together and then boom, instantly we get access to our first power toy. So we'll now see an overlay of the different Windows keyboard shortcuts. These are all shortcuts that can be used while holding down the Windows key. For example, Windows key and I is a pretty popular one. We'll pull up the settings. And then let me go back into the power toys guide so we can just show you guys another keyboard shortcut. Display and hide the desktop is Windows key and D. Let's try that. So there we go, we're displaying or hiding the desktop. Now that's just a few of the common shortcuts that you can start to learn by using this tool. Now next up we have an interesting feature called Fancy Zones. Fancy Zones is essentially a way to create window layouts to help make multitasking a little bit easier. Now my keyboard shortcut for this is the Windows key plus shift plus the tilde key. So we'll hit that and here we have our Fancy Zones editor. All right, so once inside of the Fancy Zones editor, we have we have some options for different default layouts that we can use. And this is gonna divide these sort of snap-in windows that we can drag different applications into, and we can sort of multitask by doing all of these at once. So I'm gonna select columns. We can also edit any of these by hitting that little pencil icon, and we can change the number of zones as well as the space around zones. So I want no space around the zones. Um, and then we also have a highlight distance. So we have various options here for how we want to configure this. I'm going to go ahead and save mine. Actually, let's go back to three zones. There we go. So I'll save it like that. And then basically all we have to do here is we'll grab a window and we'll hold shift, then we'll click and drag and it'll snap it in place just like that. I'm going to do the same thing here with uh, Photoshop. So shift, click, and just like that, we've snapped a Photoshop in. And then I was also looking for something in the Microsoft Store. So I'll put this in the final column. And I could simply drag these out of the fancy zones, or I could just close the application. And then we would just need to use the shift key to put these back into the fancy zones. All right, next up, we have a cool feature called Power Rename. Now, this is going to allow us to essentially batch edit file names. And it's a pretty cool feature, especially for people like me that either have batches of photos or even batches of video clips. Now we have this on, which was set on by default. In order to use this, I'm gonna open up a folder here. I'm gonna to go to this um, memory card that I have plugged in externally. And here's the folder in which I wanna rename all of these files. All right, I'm gonna grab all of the image files. So I'll hold shift and select the entire batch here. Um, sorry, these are MP4 files, so these are video files. I'm gonna right click on these. And then in this little accessory menu, we're gonna hit rename with power rename. An important note to make here is that if you have 
file extensions and you want to make sure that you keep that file extension i'm actually going to change this to file name only so we will not be adjusting the extensions and then this is where the cool uh part of the feature comes in so as we can see we have a serial number um, currently on these video files. It's C9712 going all the way up to C9809. Uh, so basically I can search for, let's just say C9. I'm gonna search for C9. And what we wanna replace that with is, I'm just gonna replace this with the name of the client. His name is Brian, cool. So as we can see, what we're gonna get instead here is Brian followed by our serial number. Yeah, it looks like I wanna maintain this as a three digit uh, sequence. So Brian and then 712 in sequential order. That's actually exactly what I want and I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. Cool, and then I can simply go ahead and X out of this and going back into our folder, our files have been batch renamed. All right guys, so we've walked through a few of the modules. There are many more to explore, such as always on top, awake, image resizer, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, we're not going to go through all of these today, but we encourage you to explore these and see if they might be effective tools for you. Uh, the last thing we're going to cover is just some of the various settings that you have control over with within power toys. So we have our dashboard here, we can enable or disable modules as we please. And then immediately below that we have our general tab. And this is kind of like our general settings. So we have the ability to check for updates. Uh, we can switch to running toys as an administrator. We can enable or disable power toys to launch during startup. I'm fine with them actually running at startup. We could back up and restore settings and we could allow experimental features. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any part of that process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. Lastly, we strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas that you may want for us to cover. And if you want to see a part two to this video where we explore more of the power toys, be sure to subscribe to our channel as we plan to release that in the near future. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys next time.